Hi everyone, Christina here. I would like to, I've been thinking about this for a while and I finally just got my little Joby tripod out and put it on a table here in my art studio. Welcome, welcome to my art studio. Um, because I want to talk to you about journaling. Just art journaling specifically um, or sketchbook journaling. <clears throat> sketchbooking, whatever we call it, whatever the cool kids are calling it. <clears throat> now, I'm an active journaler. Journaler? That sounds odd. I, I actively participate in journaling activities. How about that? And, um, you know, sometimes late at night, just long, I mean, we've all got short attention spans now, right? Um, and sometimes I'm inspired to write many paragraphs of text but uh, mostly I'm, I'm tired and, and I don't want to do that. Um, but drawing to me always seems more free flowing and simple. Um, I'm not trying to correct myself so much when I'm drawing in a sketchbook. And that's what I want to talk to you today about. I want to talk to you today about sketchbook journaling. Okay, so here is one of my sketchbooks and as you can see it has a cool cover on it i um i also like to sew so i made this out of one fat quarter of fabric um and for this size of sketchbook it works really well this is a six by eight inch and this is what the sketchbook looks like um without the cover it's artist loft it's very inexpensive it's from michael's um they're usually i mean they used to be like five dollars um but now i'm sure they're inflated like everything else um but regardless they're still uh, affordable and the paper i find is great it's suitable it um suits my needs for uh illustration and free flow sketch journaling um, I only use ballpoint pens usually in this and just a small bit of water sometimes. Um, so that's why I like these because they're inexpensive and I don't have that pressure of, oh my God, I'm wrecking a $20 sketchbook. You know, I, I, I we all get that. I'm not, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are. You're still stressed out that you're going to wreck something. So I suggest getting some inexpensive. You can buy, you know, quite a few and then you can just get going. Um, if you want, uh, I created these covers as a way for me to discern which sketchbook is which, which one I'm working on, whether it's a series or not, if it's sitting on my nightstand or on a bookshelf. Okay, so let's talk about um, how you can approach your sketchbook. Now, for me, I really when I see this or when I go into my sketchbook for um, sketch journaling, this is my happy place. This is my free place. So I don't care. I'm not judging myself in here. This is a non-judgment space. This is a safe space. Um, when I'm in here, I'm sometimes watching a show and or listening to a podcast or something like that. And in here i am relaxing and drawing and just letting whatever comes out to come out um so sometimes uh, mostly i will draw a figure a creature a animated illustration um and then i will depending on how i feel just write some words um maybe it's something i heard on this show or maybe it's a thought that popped into my mind that I'm thinking or something I want to research later or something that I'm intrigued about or fascinated about. I try not to get my day today. I ate ice cream and boy, do I ever hate myself. That may or may not be a true statement. Um, so I'm just going to start sharing some of the pages in this sketchbook and show you what I mean. So here is um, one and it says, I am not a loud talker. That's because <clears throat> everybody always tells me that they can't hear me. And I've tried to be a loud talker, 
but it feels like I get more animated when the volume goes up. And I don't know why I wrote that, but I think it's cool that when I look back, I know that about me. I know that people say that about me. I'm trying to talk loud now. But there's the, the image, um, just ballpoint pen. I have no idea what this means. Let me try and salvage this ghost. Now I did do a mixed media piece on Instagram using this illustration, which I often do. Um, but this is the layout of that sketch. I've turned into a strange old lady and I'm not mad about it. I feel like that needs to be on a t-shirt. I feel like that needs to be something I wear every day. But this is the illustration and those are the words. So you're getting the concept here. It's just free flowing, just free flowing. I think for this one, I was watching a um, documentary on the Qin Dynasty and um, not really sure why that figure came out, but it did. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole, this one, no idea, no words, just a really cool, just a really cool illustration, right? Mithras. Now, I do like, um, I do like watching ancient documentaries on ancient civilizations, so I'll often have little notes about different ancient civilizations in here. Um, that's just me. It's just so you, you get the point. It's not really journaling per se, like you would in a long form journal where you're journaling your thoughts and ideas and feelings um, so that you can reflect on them later. You're mostly just practicing or honing in your illustration skills so that you can do the same thing. When I pick this journal up five years from now, I can look back and go, oh my gosh, look at how much I've changed. I've grown. I've change my style. I've developed more into my style, but you don't really know unless you have a sketchbook. Right? So what does she mean? I take bad energy and turn it into something good. Oh my gosh. I know what I mean about that. I feel that art, um, any creative process that you have to me, is taking energy and then transmuting it, translating it, transcribing it into something meaningful for other people to enjoy and you can share it with them. That's my take on it. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Sleep entry meaning. Okay, is that an act of self-awareness? And the figure says, no, it's a knitted moustache. Listen, I can't, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on up here. I don't. It's just coming out, okay? It's coming out. And you will find the same thing if you get going. Now, if you want to take your sketchbook and you want to have it as you're drawing flowers or um, landscapes or inanimate objects around your house, then do that with your sketchbook. I think. The key of this video is for me to tell you to just get going. Get going with your sketchbook. Um, that's where you're going to build, um, build on who you are as an artist. Competition to live. Oh, everything is in a competition to live. I was probably watching some biology. I mean, which is true, right? That's true of all life. Life is, is constantly competing to live. And um, this is one where I did a live, an Instagram live, and I did this one really quick. I added some color. Anyways, you get it, right? You get it. You don't have to draw like this, um, but I suggest just starting, just starting. These are the pens I like to use for my sketchbook. I love Pilot G2 pens. I really need to be sponsored by them. Um, I talk about them all the time. The reason I like them is because when you um, do an illustration, you can take a small amount of water uh, to your 
Pilot G2 Pen, and you can create a watercolor effect on your illustration just to give it a little bit more depth. Um, it, it creates shadows. It's not just a flat picture, lined picture at that point. Um, and that's why I like the G2 pens. So that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I hope that you go and get yourself some sketchbooks and start doing some illustrative sketch journaling. Thank you for watching and have a good day.